Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for September 22nd of 2025 is titled Equinox at Saturn. So what do we see here? Well, here we see six images of Saturn taken between 2020 and 2025. And the first thing you may notice is that we see the rings more prominently in 2020, and by 2024 and 2025, they have nearly disappeared. Now, that is because Saturn is tilted in a way like Earth is tilted, and sometimes those rings line up with Earth, and other times they won't. So Saturn will go through periods where it is very prominent rings facing either the top or lo looking up from the bottom, and other times when we see almost no rings where they almost appear to vanish. And that's what we're seeing right now. Right now, we are lined up with the orbital plane of Saturn's rings, and that's what we would call the equinox of Saturn. So that's when Saturn is transitioning between its seasons, between summer in the northern hemisphere, which it just finished, and moving to summer in the southern hemisphere, which will be over the next few years on Saturn. So, essentially, this is like the equinox on Saturn when everything is just lined up and the seasons are beginning to transition. Now, this will continue and we will start seeing the other side of the rings. If we waited a few more years, we'll start to see this in reverse. We will see the other side, the underside of the rings, and then the process will continue again. Now, it also turns out that this time Saturn was also at opposition, which is as close as it gets to Earth. And opposition means the planet is opposite to the sun in the sky. And that's when it is most prominent, because if it's opposite to the sun in the sky, it rises as the sun sets and sets as the sun rises. And that means it's up all night when it's nice and dark and makes for the best observing. The best time to be able to view a planet is when it is at opposition. Now that only occurs for planets that are more distant from the sun than Earth, but Saturn certainly qualifies there. So planets like Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, those are the primary times to want to be able to see them because they are up all night, making them much easier to see. In addition, the fact that it's closer to Earth means it's going to appear a little brighter. Anything that is a little closer is going to appear brighter simply because of that reduced distance and how the inverse square law of brightness works. So the farther away something is, the fainter it's going to be, something we're relatively familiar with here on Earth. If you had two flashlights, say, of equal brightness, and one was only a few feet away from you, it's going to look a lot brighter in your eyes than one that's 50 or 100 feet away from you. And that's simply because you're getting a larger cross-section of the amount of light that it is emitting. So Saturn would look a little bit brighter here simply because it's closer to Earth, and as it continues to get farther and farther away, it would start to dim and to appear a little smaller in the sky as the size would slowly change as well. Although, for an object as far away as Saturn, the size changes aren't as much as they would be for something that is a little bit closer to Earth, such as, say, Mars. So, that was our picture of the day for September 22nd of 2025. It was titled Equinox at Saturn. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Cathedral to Massive Stars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.